Remember, before using a fiber optic fusion splicer, you must perform an arc calibration. The video link will be in the description below. For this termination, we are splicing the LC-UPC single mode Cheetah splice on connector onto single mode fiber. Please note, if you're going to use multi-mode, please change the program setting on the splicer for multi-mode. To set up the heat oven, click the menu icon on the top left and select menu and then operation settings. For the heater auto start setting, turn it on. To turn off the proof test, scroll down to Proof Reset and select. Then select None key. Click the menu icon and select Single Mode G652 Standard. Select Single Mode Fiber G652 and make sure Single Mode G652 Standard is selected. To set up the splice sleeve, Select 40 mm 0.9. Then select 40 mm and make sure that 40 mm 0.9 is selected. To place the FIS splice on connector holder, take an Allen wrench and unscrew the standard fiber holder from the machine and place the SOC holder onto the splicer. Take the FIS splice on connector blister pack and turn it upside down. Fold in half and open it from the back. In the pack there are the splice on connector with a cleave protector, a 27 mm splice sleeve, and the custom 900 micron boot. Take the field fiber and assemble the back of the connector. First, slide the 900 micron boot. Then slide the 27 mm splice sleeve. Take the tri hole stripper and strip the 900 micron jacket. Strip a quarter of an inch at a time so you don't run the risk of breaking the glass. After removing the 900 micron jacket, use the 250 micron slot of the stripper and remove the acrylic coating. To clean the fiber, use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a low lint wipe. Take the cleaver, open it up, and place the fiber into the groove until the buffer is at 10 millimeters. Then cleave. Open the lid of the machine and then the lid of the fiber holder and lay the fiber into the groove. Take the splice-on connector, remove the dust cap and the cleave protector, and place it in the splice-on connector holder. Notice, both fibers are past the blue pad of the V-groove, but not extended far enough to the electrodes. Close the lid. When the left side is done aligning, press the blue arrow button to finish the alignment process and the splicing. The splice is complete, with the estimated loss on top. The CA6 Plus has been modified for splice-on connectors, and there is a tiny switch on the right side of the oven. Push it back with a finger. When the splice is complete, open the lid, open the cover of the fiber holder, and gently pull the fiber right out of the splicer. Next, slide down the splice sleeve so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron tight buffer, and place it into the oven. Make sure you have an even melt along the splice sleeve. Let the boot naturally slide down the fiber to the splice sleeve. Slide the boot up over to the back body of the connector. The termination of the FIS 900 Micron Cheetah Splice-On Connector is now complete.